another page in Selma's Book of Art. Theme from Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Part 2 out of 3 videos for this page. Hi, this is Britta from MindArt.dk. I am back with another page in my grandchild Selma's Book of Art. This time again I am in a collaboration with a lot of other great artists, crafters and makers. It is a YouTube collaboration inspired by Disney's Beauty and the Beast and it is hosted by Maritia from The John King Data Girl. There will be a playlist and I will put it in the info below. You can also find it by searching the hashtag Be Our Guest. Be sure to go and watch all these fantastic creative tutorials all the participants has prepared for you. I'm using some parchment paper to draw a pattern to cut by for the dresses to the girl or for the girl. Maybe you can remember how you did this when you were a child. I can. I did this many times and I have many good memories doing this, playing with dress up girls and maybe you were too. After I have cut out the module or the pattern for the dresses, I am trying it on her to see if it suits her. And it seems so. It isn't a difficult task. It is a rather easy project. The fabric I am using for the dresses is pieces of sheets I have cut out. And then I have put on some plaster and let it dry. And then I have gessoed it. On the back of this piece of sheet I have put matte medium so the paint won't soak through the fabric. It is from another collaboration I am participating in with Ayala Art and it is a fabric book where there is nine participants and we are making a page in each book. I will put a link to the playlist below. There will be many inspirational tutorials. I am loosely sketching the features on her dress. Again, I am not going for perfect. I am going for something everyone can do. And I hope my grandchild will be inspired to be as creative as she can when she gets a little older. She is already creative and she is painting and making dolls already. And I wish for her she can keep her creativeness. Maybe not for a living, but just to get all the good stuff from being creative. Personally, I am using it instead of meditating. It is so relaxing and we all know how well it is for our brain to develop when we meditate. And who doesn't want that? Most of the time I am layering the dresses with the paint and just put on another layer and another layer until I am satisfied with the outcome. Maybe it is raw sienna, maybe it is yellow okra. I can't remember, to be honest, but it is one of those and you can try yourself which one you do prefer. Again, I am using my Marx Oil pencil and this one is the graphite one. A Marx Oil pencil is water soluble. And be aware of that because it will smudge when you put on some water or some matte medium. If you want to fixate it, you have to use matte medium or mud first or something like that. I will be making two dresses for her. This fabric is a little heavy and um, that is how I think it's stiffer from paper so it will lay on girl a little better. I haven't figured out if I want to make something so it could stay on while she is closing the book but maybe I will figure something out or it will just be as it is. And if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments below. That would be cool.
and this is another dress. As I mentioned, I would make her two dresses and two pockets for them. I'm trying to use some of my stencils to make some structure on the dress. And this is a fabric spray I am using, a pink one. And this is a Posca marker, white Posca marker. I'm going to save the model I made in parchment paper for the dresses. And maybe my grandchild will make her own dresses for the girl later on, in fabric or in paper, as she like. I am trying to reinforce it on the back. It isn't strong enough where the arm is on. So I am reinforcing it on the back. And that is because I haven't been generous enough with the plaster. So I have to remember that in another time. And that is only learning and feedback. Be very careful to put on plaster everywhere. And this was the dresses. And I have another video for you with how I made these pockets for the dresses to be in. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I will be so pleased. And you are also welcome to comment and ask questions in the comments below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will be back in part 3. See you there. Bye for now.